morning. How are you all doing? Welcome to Vlogmas Day. Is it 10? It's never 10. It might be 10. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm just having a coffee, a vanilla. If you watched yesterday's video, you will know that I've got no normal pods left. Oh yeah, then we made them. How cool are they? I absolutely love your angel. I did order some on Amazon today, so they will be here at some point. We've braved putting water back in it. We've not had water in it for a few days, have we? Because she started literally just getting the sink. High five. And every time I put water in it, she'd just get the sink and tip it up and not play with it, wasn't you? I'm telling on you. But now she seems to be playing with it nice again. She plays with these more than Corbin does. The Home Alone, the little Home Alone figures and the Sylvanian house that we use as the Home Alone house. Blake loves it. Are you washing your hands? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, does Buddy need a bath? The baby's asleep, bless her, she's been asleep. Well now, about half an hour, 45 minutes. Look at her, she's so cute. Mm. I love her little cardigan, it's so cute. Robin's just having his dinner, and I'll be honest, I don't know what I'm filming again today. Ah. <laughs> David's out at work all day today, so he's not gonna be back till I think about eight o'clock tonight. Corb's counted off another day. Halfway there nearly now, until you can come out. They've opened their advent calendars already today. Look, this is, uh, hang on, this is what Blake did on day one when I obviously gave her the first one and then she didn't realise that she couldn't have them all. So now I have to hide it and then just take her the chocolate every day. Hopefully next year she will be better. And I'm a bad mum, I haven't even managed to get the girls a calendar yet. I'll be really honest, <laughs> the only reason why the small two have got the calendars is because um, David's sister brought them round. Otherwise, I think I'd have forgot them as well. My. I mean, I would have bought them one, obviously. Buddy didn't get up to any mischief last night. After doing the toilet roll trick the other morning, I think he might have excelled himself and he decided to have a night off. So he's just sat with Santa Claus at the bottom of the tree. <laughs> and if you wonder why I put a tree on a table like this, I do it because I think this is why I do it anyway. The only reason why I can think is because when I was growing up, me and my mum had like a massive tree that went from the floor to the ceiling. She had it for like years and years and years. It was the same tree for like, God, I don't know, a, a long time, all my childhood. I'm just used to a really big tree. And we've bought, the trees that we've had have been six foot ones. And I just don't like it when they're sat on the floor, they just don't look big enough. What I normally do is I normally put it on a table and then I put like a Christmas throw over the table and it looks better. But this year, the Christmas throw that I got, I've put on the fire. Let me show you. Yeah, so what I'd normally do is I'd put a throw over this table and it'd come down to the floor so you couldn't see through the table and it'd be just a nice Christmas throw. Now the one I had a couple of years ago that were really nice, I don't know what's happened to it. So this year I bought this red one from Amazon and I thought that would look really nice over there. But then I did this to hide the horrible fire that lurked underneath it. And I need to buy another one for over there because that's staying there. <laughs> and I think that's why I do it. I've always done it and I think it's because I just like to have a tree to the ceiling. But it might, it does look a bit daft, doesn't it? I don't know. It doesn't look as bad when there's a throw there. But I think for next year, I want to get, I love this tree, so I want to get this tree again, but I want to get like a, is it a seven or eight foot that had reached the ceiling from the floor? You should do a Mum V World Games. Oh, Corbin said I should do Mum V World Games. Well, if Santa brings me a Nintendo Switch, like what I'd like, I might do that. <laughs> Has anybody noticed that I've changed the channel name slightly? No. <laughs> it's now called Mumby World Vlogs. I've just put a vlogs on the end of it, so nothing major, it doesn't really matter. But I just thought it's easier just for people to know what I do at a glance. And it's now in line with my new Instagram, which if you're not following, go follow me over on Instagram. It's Mumby World Vlogs now. The, the other one's been broken. Yeah, my other one, my Mumby World underscore. You may as well just get rid of that one now because I can't get into it. Instagram's blocked me from it. Well, I'm still gutted about it. 
So if you're not following me on the Mum V World vlogs, please go over and follow me on there because on the other one, obviously I can't get into it, I can't use it. So I've just put the Christmas Chronicles on. It's on Netflix. Let's see if it's any good. I don't think I've seen it. Has anybody else seen it? Do you like this film? Yeah. It's really, really good actually. We're enjoying it. Look at the end. Mrs. Claus. It's Goldie Horn. His wife in real life. That is ace. This film is amazing. There's a number two. I think we'll have to watch that at some point. You're going to be disappointed. <laughs> I tried to take it into the kitchen and she's like, no. Eh. Are they taking the mess? It's caramel. I didn't order caramel. I'm going on my order now. I'm telling you, I didn't order caramel. I'm just trying to hide my details. But look. That's just Costa Latte. Blake, should we do this? And then Blake you do it. Clever girl. What about this? That'll go. Did you spy the camera? Say bye. <laughs> Hey, get back here. Bye. 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 I'm really gutted about them lattes because I haven't got one for the morning now. And like, I don't like the caramel ones very much. Mum to the rescue. She called at Iceland on her way home. They didn't have any lattes in Iceland, but they had cappuccinos. <laughs> what is going on? Oh. <laughs> oh, do you want to read a book? Should we read this book? That's not my unicorn. But you, superhero. <laughs> oh, that's not my unicorn. His ears are too soft. Oh, his hooves are too. Oh. His tail is too fluffy. Oh. You like that one, don't you? No. Say, that's not my unicorn. Yeah. Mm, you're off. I won't get you. So this is what's happening right now. I'm going to sit back, have a cappuccino. He's, I don't know what he's doing with her blanket. She's rolling around on the floor. And yeah. Anyway, while they're playing, I'm going to drink my coffee. David rang, he's not going to be back till about half past seven. And... To be honest, we're not doing much else today. Not that we've done much at all today. Anyway, so we've just put on The Grinch on Netflix. It's the animated one, but I think it's 2018, so it's like quite a recent one. I'm absolutely loving this. Like, we're just sat, chilling, watching the movie. Like, Corbin's really into him, which is great and it's just fab is turning it up. I want to live in this village that's on Grinch with all the gingerbread houses. They've got buses with three stories. Like, I want to live in a gingerbread house in that village. I think it looks ace. I'm like, nah, maybe not though because I'll end up eating my own house if it's made of gingerbread. Corbin's like, yeah, I know you and you would. <laughs> but how cute does the village look in this Grinch? So cute. Also yeah. Christmassy, I'm excited. Just a lot. Ah, uh, someone was holding up a Grinch thing that was like this. <laughs> <laughs> Do we think she's tired? Look at her. What are you doing? <laughs> right, I'm going to go. Corbin's in bed. Blake's asleep. This one's back. Anything interesting to say? No. Not only what it was like talking to some people today. Honestly, just no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.